The prevailing theory is that Mars is red because of the presence of hematite and iron oxide material in its soil. Now scientists have proved that actually it's not hematite but ferrihydrite, another iron oxide material that's responsible for the brick red Martian dust. Not that interesting? Well, let's dig deeper. Hematite is indeed present throughout Mars, but it's formed under warm and dry conditions. But ferrihydrite, on the other hand, which is just as abundantly found on Mars, forms in water-rich environments. So, if scientists have been able to prove the presence of this mineral in Mars, wouldn't that indicate that Mars at one point had a lot of water? And it's not just water in any form, but liquid cool water that's necessary for ferrihydrite formation. This opens up many exciting avenues for research into the red planet's history. But scientists have warned that all their research has been on the basis of observations and pictures from Mars missions. And they are still waiting for the Perseverance rover to bring back the first ever samples of Martian rock to Earth.